Hey, this is John Gill, Assistant Director of Facility Services. I uh, wanted to show you some cisterns that we have on campus. These are two at our main grounds complex here on uh, ECU. And we have these two big storage buildings. We have piped all the storm water from the rooftops. They come into these 5,000 gallon cisterns. And then we have a pump system here. This pump system allows us to take the water to uh, our nursery uh, where we grow and store trees and shrubs and flowers. And so that's, we use this water for that. You can also see we have a nurse tank here that we use to supplement water of trees and shrubs and grasses where we don't have irrigation systems. Um, we use that quite often. We allow contractors to come in. You can see we've got two 5,000 gallon cisterns here. Um, we have one similar, actually we have a 10,000 on the health science campus, use the same things. We have one on main campus so the guys don't have to carry that water all the way to main campus so over at the, uh, the mail services building. We also have some in-ground cisterns on campus. Uh, we have a 12,000 gallon cistern that sits underneath the ground at the new auxiliary gym, the basketball um, expansion over there at Minji's. That waters our landscape. Uh, we also have a 15,000 gallon cistern underneath the new student center, underneath that big grass lawn, underneath the Pirate Vision board. Um, once again, we use that to, to irrigate the plants that are around the, the building. Um, out at the Coastal Studies Institute in Manio, North Carolina. We have a, a cistern up on the roof that collects all the roof water, and then that actually is used to flush toilets in that building. So we utilize cisterns quite a bit on, on main campus and, and, and throughout ECU property.